Do you want to pass the DP600 exam with a minimal effort? In this video I will tell you about this very efficient preparation strategy for the exam and also reveal to you one extremely helpful tip for the exam that could boost your points significantly. So stay tuned for that. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover Marxist Fabric and Azure related topics. I recently passed the DP600 Marxist Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate exam and I want to share with you my best tips and strategies for passing the exam with ease. I have done several Microsoft certification exams in the past and always relied to the same overall strategy and managed to pass those exams with reasonable amount of studying. Since, let's be honest, I think very few people really enjoy reading through endless pages of documentation when preparing for those exams. But now let's get started and cover the first thing that I would do when preparing for the exam, that is the free practice exam provided by Microsoft that can be found on the same page as the study materials for the exam. This practice exam will have very similar questions to those that you will be having in the actual exam. The main reason why I would start from this exam is that you will be able to get a feel what kind of questions they are going to ask in the actual exam. But more importantly, you will be able to identify your weak areas that you really need to focus on when preparing for the exam. After you have completed the practice exam, you will get this report that shows how you did in the each section of the exam. For example, I kind of already knew that Power BI related questions would be my weak area and that was reflected on my practice exam results. Also, it could be possible that you get plus 800 points on your first try from this practice exam, which means that you are already ready to take the actual exam without any additional preparation. Also, I want to note that this practice exam has a pool of questions, meaning that if you would take it again, you would get some brand new questions on your second try. But now let's assume that you didn't get that plus 800 points from that practice exam and we can move forward with our preparation now when you have identified your weak areas. Next, I would go through the official study materials provided by Microsoft that can be found on the same page as the practice exam. And since we want to be efficient with our preparation, my approach for this study material would be to go through the sections I'm already familiar with very quickly and just try to spot some things that are new to me. And then just really focus on to those weak areas that we identified when doing the practice exam. Also, there are many labs in the material that would give you some hands-on experience that is always a good thing. However, if you want just to pass the exam and be as efficient as possible, I would skip those labs, since I don't find them to be that efficient method for preparing for the exam. Also, if you disagree with my take on to those labs, let me hear that in the comment section down below. At some point, when preparing for the exam, you could get tired of reading through that study material, and then you could be seeking some other methods for preparing. Luckily, there are some great materials that you can find for free when preparing for the exam. For instance, in YouTube, there are many great video courses that will aid you in your preparation. Next, I want to reveal you this one key thing about the exam that could boost your points significantly that many people overlook. But before we do that, I would like you to know that I spent ton of my free time creating these videos for you. And that's why I would like you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Marx Fabric and Azure content. It doesn't cost you anything and I would highly appreciate that. But now let's talk about that hot tip for the exam that many people are missing, which is that you are able to access Microsoft Learn documentation in the exam. It seems that many people are not realizing this, since it is a quite a new feature in Microsoft's intermediate and advanced level certification exams. When doing the actual exam, you have this bar on your left hand side, and in that bar you have several different buttons, and one of those buttons will actually take you to the Microsoft Learn page, where you are able to search for the answers for the questions in the exam. However, it is good to keep in mind that your time in the exam is very limited and you don't have time to search for answers for all the questions in the exam. So I will share to you my best strategy for using the documentation in the exam. First, I would answer to every question in the exam, even if I would be very unsure about my answer. Then I would just flag those very unsure questions using the flagging feature. 
Then, after I have answered to every question in the exam, I would go back to those flagged questions and then start to browse through the documentation and try to find answers to them. By using this strategy, you make sure that you don't run out of time in the exam and possibly miss answering to some of those easy questions that you would be getting right without using the documentation. Let me know if you found these tips and strategies helpful for your exam preparations in the comment section down below. Also, if you would like to learn more about Fabric, check out this video next. Now, I thank you for watching and see you in that video.